it's Melissa. In this video, I am so excited to be able to not only show you the new Roland DTF printer, the BY20, not only renamed, remodeled, uh, but to give you about 19 or 20 differences between this new model and the original 20 inch Roland DTF, which was the BN20D. And there are some pretty big differences. So we're gonna get to all of those. If you see me kind of looking off screen, I have a list of notes so I don't forget um, any of the really important ones. Okay, so big thing, I'm gonna try to, these, the top ones that I'm gonna tell you here are kind of in order of like importance. And then as it gets, um, you know, as we get into like maybe five through 20, they're not really in any kind of logical order other than what I made for my notes. Okay, so big, big thing. Uh, the original BN, 20D could not hook up in line. This one, the BY20 can. So it can go into an inline system with a shaker and a heater, which is huge. It is going to give you uh, really the ability to scale and increase production. Uh, the reason for that is number two, which is that it does not need to roll back in order to add the white. So the white uh, layer, which you can see here in this example, goes on basically at the same, not at the same time, but you, it does not need to print the full color and then roll back and put the white like it did before so that's number two so number three is that flexi designer like the bn2 models those are the eco solvent bn2s uh, flexi designer is included with the by20 so that was not the case with the uh, bn20d but with the by20 it, flexi designer for versaworks is included and you can send directly to the device from there there are several different um, kind of color profiles in there to to make uh, that white layer um, just as easy as possible. So you also have uh, the an improved utility. So again, that came with the uh, BN2 as, as well, those models, so the BY20 has that. I will say that the utility is definitely improved. It's very uh, intuitive, however, what are we up to now, number five, maybe, is that you have to be uh, connected to DG uh, Connect Hub, which I am honestly not a fan of the Roland Hub. I don't love that I have to be connected to it. I find it a little unstable. I shouldn't say a little. I find if I have a problem, it's usually due to that. So unfortunately, that is a that is one of the drawbacks with the BN20D. Uh, you did not have to be connected to the hub, but this one you do. Um, you do have the ability now with that improved utility, you do have the ability to move the base point, which means, for example, um, here, now I've wasted all of this material. Well, instead, now I can set the base point, say right here, and that will allow me to start printing here, reducing waste. So that's a big thing. Uh, you also have the ability to auto sheet cut. So once you are done printing your DTF transfers, in the utility, you can use that auto sheet cut. And as long as you have the blade in there, well, no, it's actually not, this blade, it's the sheet cut blade, which is separate, that will spl slice your uh, film. So you will not have what I have here, which is a big jaggedy edge. You will just have that straight point, which is perfect. Um, we already mentioned that you have to be connected to uh, DG Connect Hub. You do have to use an ethernet connection. So um, everything is over here, the power cord and the ethernet cord, looking at the machine is on the left. So uh, previously with the BN, 20D, you were able to connect with the USB, or uh, I believe there was also an Ethernet option. This one, Ethernet only. So you have that. Um, while the machine is definitely taller, it has a smaller footprint. So the square footage of what it's taking on your tabletop is actually smaller than the Roland that the blue model, like the longer the longer model. Um, one big thing that I should have probably put higher in the list is obviously you've got a redesign. This is fully accessible. Everything is fully accessible from the front. Uh, that changed with, as you know, the BN2 Eco Solvent models and is now also adopted here in the 20 inch DTF. So you don't have to get to the back of the machine or the sides for either the ink or loading the material, in this case, the film roll. Okay, so that makes it really ex easy. You can have it pressed up against the wall. As I mentioned, the power cord, power button, and ethernet are all on the left side. Everything is accessible right here from the front, uh, the inks and everything like that. You also have, uh, oh, while I'm talking about that, inks inside ink storage. So again, with the older models, you had to have clearance on the side because the ink cartridges stuck out the side. This is all within. Now, I will say that the print head has to come into this area. So that means that you are not able to use the extended uh, cartridges for the ink. 
another big difference, but it is, uh, you know, the payoff is that you can access everything here from the front. Uh, there's a tool storage area, which was not available before. So you have this area here where you can put um, some extra, the extra supplies that come with the machine. You can also put extra ink. It's a pretty big storage area, so you'll have that as well. Uh, the roller bar now has a new locking system that helps to prevent um, it from slipping, so that is an improvement. You also have, uh, as we talked about, the vertical front loading. So uh, I'll just pull this out of here, but basically because it's now all accessible from the front, you are going to put your paper, uh, film sheet in here and pull it this way. You don't have to use the 20 inch, you can use 15 or 12 inch um, uh, roll as well so if you for some reason are not using the roll and brand film maybe you're using Kodak whatever you can do that um, you can you have you can adjust this uh, pinch roller along you know certain spots along the way so you have that um, you also have faster printing that actually should have put that at the top of the list that is an improvement I will say it's definitely still not as fast as some of my other DTF printers but it is faster when you compare it to the Roland uh, BN 20D, which you know was obviously the previous model, and that's what this list is comparing to. Um, you do have the ability to uh, oh, it has a new dryer, detachable media clamps, and movable pinch rollers. I mentioned those pinch rollers a couple minutes ago. This does dry now. I will, or this does heat up. Um, now with DTF, because you need to put the powder on there, you don't want it to dry too quickly. So my suggestion, just based on the defaults that I have been using, um, which I actually have suggested to roll into to, to make adjustments to. This seems to heat a little bit too much. The film does need to be warm, but you don't want it to be so warm that it's drying the ink and then the powder doesn't stick to it. So keep that in mind. Um, we also have, there is no stand available. So you can see I have this on a, on a table, a ben, like a workbench type thing. I, I actually have my BN2 my the eco solvent version on the as a very similar table there is no official roll and stand like there was for the bn 20d so you will need some type of stand um, i'll link to this one in the description below so you also have um, improved accuracy due to the multi-sensor adjustments this is all of like technical stuff that you you know you can access through the utility um, and then the waste tank um, as much more eco friendly eco um and cost effective so this is the waste tank it comes like this this part is not a replaceable part but what is replaceable is inside I want to be careful but essentially this top piece slides off and then you've got like this sponge um, or foam piece that's a, that's basically soaking up the waste now DTF printers create a lot of wasted ink unfortunately they have to run um, and during that self-cleaning um, a lot of ink is unfortunately wasted. So you do want to make sure that you're printing regularly, but you also want to make sure that it's going, um, that those automatic cycles are clean, automatic cleanings are working. Uh, but you will want to also keep on hand extra uh, foam or the inserts for the waste tank. Okay, so bunch of dif differences there. I think we ran down at least 19 or 20, at least when I counted on my list, that's how many it was. So I do have a first look of this working. If you're interested in that video, check it out. Uh, these are now on pre-order. I obviously recommend Swing Design. I work closely with Swing. Um, I have, I find they have the best bundles just, you know, for various reasons. The printer itself doesn't come with ink. So it would, you know, you get the ink, you get what you need. Um, out of the box so you're not like ordered and then stuck waiting for oh shoot I didn't realize that I don't get X Y and Z um, at this point which is January 2024 when Roland is launching this um, there is not a Roland brand uh, um, shaker or inline system however it does work with other brands that can take the 20 inch so just be aware of that all right you guys everything that you need to know all the links and everything are in the description below make sure you hit subscribe and i'll see you soon